Now let us solve this problem. Show that L is equal to A power I, B power J such that J is equal to I square is not a context free language. We can use pumping lemma in order to prove a language as not a context free language. Initially we have to assume this language as context free language. Let L be a context free language. Now let us generate L value. Let us generate the language L is equal to. Initially let us assume that I value is 1. Then A power 1 into B power J. J is equal to I square. Here we are assuming I as 1. So A power 1 into B power 1 square means B power 1. So we can write it as AB. Next, next let us assume that I is 2. So A power 2 into B power 2 square. A power 2 means A. B power 2 square means B power 4. So we can write it as 4 bits. Next I value is 3. So A power 3 into B power 3 square. So 3 by 8, totally 9 bits. So 3 bits, 4 bits, 5 bits, 6 bits, 3 bits, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Likewise, we can have n number of strings in the language. Next, we have to select a string from the language in such a way that mod z is greater than or equal to n. So next, what is the step? Select a string from the language. Let the string is denoted by z. Select a string z from the language l such that mod z is greater than or equal to n. Here n means length of the string. So let us assume n value. So before assuming the n value, let us take z. Z means a string. We can take a, b or this string or this string, any other string. Let us assume the second string. Let z is equal to a, a, 4, b. A, A, 4, B. Now we need to assume Z value. So it is our choice. We can take any value. But by satisfying this condition, let N is equal to 4. If you take 4, then mod Z means length of the string. What is the length of the string? 6. 6 is greater than 4. Condition is true. We can take this one also. If you take this string, then 3 plus 9, 12. 12 is greater than 14. Condition is true only. So we can take this string also. But we can't take this string by assuming n as 4. Because here the length of the string is 2. Whereas here we are assuming n as 4. We can take n as 2 and assume this string. Okay. Then only this condition will be satisfied. Okay. Let us see whether this condition is satisfied or not. Mod z is greater than or equal to n. Here mod what is z? Double a 4 bis. Is greater than or equal to n value is 4. What is the length of the string? 6. 6 is greater than or equal to 4. Condition is true. So we can assume Z has this string and N has this value. So there is no problem. Next what we have to do is divide the string Z into 5 parts. Divide Z into 5 parts such as U, V such as U, V, W such as X, Y by satisfying two conditions. If these two conditions are satisfied, then only we can say that uh, these five parts are correct. The first two condition is the middle part of the string. That is mod VWX is less than or equal to N. And the second condition is we have to increment V and X values later. So that's why mod VX is greater than or equal to 1. If these two conditions are satisfied, then only we can divide the string into two parts. And then what is the string? What is the string? Double K, 4B is the string. So we have to divide this string into 5 parts. Let U is equal to A, V is equal to A, let W is equal to B, X is equal to A, X is equal to B, Y is equal to B. It is our choice. We can divide into 5 parts as according to our choice. We can assume either B as double B or W as a single B. It is our choice. But we need to satisfy those two conditions. What is the first condition? Mod V W X is less than or equal to N. Mod, what is V? V means A. What is W? W means B B. What is X? X means B. Is less than or equal to what is N? 4. What is the length of A B B B? 4 is less than or equal to 4. Condition is true. So this condition is true. Second condition, mod V X is greater than or equal to 1. Mod V X 
is greater than or equal to 1. Mod what is v? A. What is x? B. Mod AB is greater than or equal to 1. 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Condition is true. So we can divide this string into 5 parts uh, in a proper manner only. Why? Because these two conditions are satisfied. So if these two conditions are satisfied, then we need to check one more condition. Let us write that condition. For i greater than or equal to 0, u v power i w x power i y is in n. Is in n. Initially i is 0. So i is equal to 0. u, what is u? a. What is v? a. a power. Initially i is 0. Into what is w? b v. What is x? x means b. b power. Initially we assume i as 0. Next y means y. Y means what? B. Here we are pumping, we are incrementing V and X value. Initially I is 0. Next I becomes 1. Next I becomes 2. Next I becomes 3. So every time we are pumping, we are incrementing I value. So that's why the second condition is mod Vx is greater than or equal to 1. Here what is the string? A into A power 0, B, B, B power 0, B. A into A power 0 means epsilon. Epsilon into anything is nothing but that anything only. So A into 3 will be. But A 3 will be is not present in the land base. So this is not present in the land base. So we can say that this is not a context free land base. Why? Because initially we assumed this land base as context free land base. But now we got a string which is not present in the land base. So we got contradiction result. Entirely opposite result. We got this string. But this string is not present in the land base. So this is entirely opposite. So we can say that L is not a context free language. Why? Because we got a string which is not present in the language. Suppose if this string is present in the language, next we need to assume I as 1 and generate some other string. Suppose if the string is also present in the language, now let us generate another string. So likewise we need to generate a string until we got a string, until we get a string which is present in the language. If the string is not present in the language, then we can say that it is not a context-free language.